In this video, I'll be migrating virtual machine from one node to another node. The virtual machine that I'm migrating is in fact connected to two different networks. So here, if you see uh, this particular VM, which is PFSense. PFSense right now is my firewall, unified threat management. All the devices are connected to this and the internet is working right now with the help of this PFSense only. So if there is any issues or if I want to migrate this from here to here, the network configuration should be definitely same in both places. So I have explained you how we can do the network configuration in both the nodes and same network configuration is already there in both network nodes. If I show you PVE and network configuration, you can see here the network configuration is same. Two physical network cards connected to two virtual bridges and here also two network cards connected to two virtual bridges. So what I'll do now, I'll just click this and I'll migrate and where you want to migrate, you will be migrating to PVE2, LVM disk 1, 16 GB. So I'll just click on migrate and now it has started migration and real time migration is taking place. We'll just wait for this process to complete and at the same time I'll be checking 192.168.240.1 pfsense is giving me response it means that the migration is live right now and there is no interruption also in the migration so here you can see migration is taking place 45 percent is completed and my internet is also working fine and this is in fact the ip address of my pfsense i'll show you that also 192.168.240.1 so i'll say what is the downtime 68 percent is completed and there is no downtime for the time being it is only migrating the disk because the disk was not available in a central location if central storage device was used for the disk then it would have not taken the time it would have immediately migrated the machine but as the disk is created in pve1 or pve so it is migrating from pve to pve2 that's why it is taking longer but if you are using any shared storage for creating the vm and for creating the vm disk of course it is not going to take time everything is migrated vm state is migrated and just one request timeout and task is completed now let's see pfsense has been migrated from pve to pve2 so this was hassle free in fact i didn't see any challenge here now even i can turn this off and it will be migrated uh, it will be working fine and i have seen that network configuration was also fine we'll do once more just to make sure that if it is migrated from now PVE2 back to PVE, how it will be done. So I'll just click this again and here, here are the options. Let me check that. Migrate on top right corner. And now I'm migrating from PVE2 to PVE. And migration mode is online and I'll click on migrate. And it is migrating on real time without turning off the machine. So drive migration has completed and now after drive migration all the mirror jobs are now ready. So now the live migration of machine has started and you can see here only one packet drop was there and logical volume is also moved successfully and task is completed. Now I can show you here that the PFSense has been migrated from PVE2 to PVE1 again and there is no downtime. You can see live migration is hassle free of course it took around two minutes and something two minutes or 30 seconds maybe but the migration was so smooth without any issues without any disturbance so this was the live migration of course which has been taken care of with the help of two network nodes so two nodes of the proxmox virtual environments was available of course it is not the high availability cluster for high availability we need to have at least three network nodes so I'll be creating three nodes and I'll show you that in the high availability cluster that how the migration can automatically take place once the three Proxmox nodes are connected and if one goes down by any reason, so automatically the migration will take place and it will be live migration to another node. This was all about the Proxmox live migration. Two nodes are connected to the cluster right now. Let's see how we can take care of the high availability 